Hey, Dr. Deb Trevin here. What's healthy? We are. It's another beautiful day here in hot Lenta, Georgia. And I wanted to talk about sciatica today because sciatica sucks. And a lot of you out there who are suffering from sciatica, and if you don't know what sciatica is, let me tell you, it is when you have pain that runs from the low back down the leg. It could be numbness. It could be burning. It could be tingling. It could be your low back doesn't hurt at all, but you feel a numb spot on your leg or a numb spot on your foot or this burning feeling. That is sciatica. It's when you have some kind of pain that involves that, that lower extremity, that leg. And a lot of the population today really does suffer from this, especially on the heels of working from home because people are sitting there and they're working in these environments that are really makeshift desks and makeshift offices and they're sitting in bad positions. And sciatica is one of those things that really you would benefit from making sure that you're sitting in the right position. So ergonomically, everything should be in the right position. And, you know, a really quick, easy test is just make sure that when you're sitting in a chair, your hips are at 90 degrees, your knees are at 90 degrees, your ankles are at 90 degrees, your feet are flat on the floor, or they're on a book or a telephone book, if it's from the old days, some kind of a stool, something to keep you at that 90 degrees. Um, and then for those of you who have neck pain or pain going down the arm, um, that is also a radiculopathy. And that also can be really uh, helped if, with obviously chiro chiropractic care, massage therapy and acupuncture, but at home between visits, and don't wait too long to come in between visits, you can make sure that your elbows are at 90 degrees, your wrists are straight out, your keyboard is straight ahead of you, your monitor is straight ahead so you're not looking up and you're not looking down and you're not like this, that you're really sitting up tall, straight and relax, those shoulders are relaxed. And that's the correct position so that you can prevent your body from impinging on nerves and causing muscle spasms and everything being out of whack and then getting something like sciatica. Um, I know a lot of people wait before they come in to see a chiropractor. And I don't understand this. You know, I guess maybe if you're that person that wakes and doesn't go to the doctor for a cold and that kind of stuff too, okay, I get it. But the longer you wait with any kind of a physical issue, the harder it is structurally to get you better. So it takes longer. So if you have it and you've been suffering with pain or headache or neck pain or pain down the arm or carpal tunnel or tennis elbow or golfer's elbow or knee issues or hip issues or feet issues, plantar fasciitis, sciatica, all of those things can really be rectified by getting your butt into a chiropractor's office and getting the therapies, electrical stim, ultrasound, eyes, heat, just kind of depending on where you are in the process and how your body is handled it. And this will really, really make a big difference. Um, you know, another interesting thing, and I always want to say this is if you've had bowel or bladder dysfunction, you know, you need to make sure that a, it's not an emergency and you go to the emergency room for that. But if you're having bowel or bladder dysfunction, if you're having problems with pregnancy, keeping a baby, getting pregnant, um, all kinds of different things, that can also be an issue with your low back. And you know, you might not even have back pain when you're when this stuff is going on. What I'm trying to say is chiropractic care can really help you, even if you're not feeling a physical issue, but if you're having something more like a, a bowel issue or a bladder problem or a constipation or a diarrhea or a combination of the two, chiropractic care can really make a, dif a big difference with that. So it's not just for decreasing pain or getting rid of pain or healing you structurally. It helps with all kinds of other things too. And I think that's really worth mentioning because a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people just go to the chiropractor after waiting for a long period of time when they're hurting. Um, oftentimes I will recommend my patients get massage therapy and acupuncture along with chiropractic care because they go hand in hand, right? When you receive a chiropractic adjustment, what's happening is we're putting the bones back into place, taking the pressure off the nerves and, and reducing reducing the muscle spasms and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, the muscles attached to the bone. So chiropractic is addressing the bony stuff where a massage and acupuncture are, are, are addressing the muscular component and the, um, the electrical systems going through body and all of that kind of stuff. So I think it's really important and don't wait. I have a question coming in from Sarah and Sarah asks, I've gained a bunch of weight recently and I'm, I'm now starting to feel some leg pain. Could it be sciatica? 
Absolutely. There are tons and tons of different causes of sciatica, but weight gain is one of them because as we put on more weight, we put more pressure on those discs. And if we put more pressure on those discs, they can get narrowed. You could get a bulge. You could get a extrusion. It could put pressure on the nerve and then it can cause pain down the leg. And oftentimes losing weight will help. But in the meantime, getting good chiropractic care, taking the bone off of that nerve, taking the pressure off of that nerve will really make a different, a big difference. So that's a great question, Sarah. Thank you for asking. You know what? We're getting to the end of our time together. So if you would like to email me, you can email me at feelbetter at lakepointwellnesscenter.com. You can go to my website at feelbetterhere.com, or you can give me a call at 770-974-5215. We can have a good old fashion conversation until next time wishing you loads and loads of health and happiness bye bye